guys. A few weeks ago, I did a live stream talking about different techniques that my friends had figured out concerning the Google, the Google, different ways that YouTube and Google are changing up the algorithm. Now that video somehow ended up being over 50 minutes long. And I've got a lot of people that have been writing me saying there's so much information in that 50 some minute video. I don't have the time to watch it. Can you do a condensed version? So I said, of course. And the next time I sat down to film, which is right now, all right, Cliff Notes version of that video. Number one, Google and YouTube have been changing the way the algorithm works. Normally when you upload a video, you would think it would go to all of your subscription box. Currently right now, it could change tomorrow, but right now, YouTube takes a little test batch, about 25 to 30% of your subscribers, and shoots it out to their subscription box, and then an hour or two will pass and it kind of judges how many people watched your video or didn't, and that will depict how many other of your, you know, 80 to 75% of your other subscribers will also see that in their subscription box. A lot of YouTubers were kind of upset by this, especially if their viewers were around the world and, you know, maybe were sleeping or at work when this video went out and YouTube just said, hey, have them click the bell, they'll figure it out. And that's kind of where they left it. So in that 50 minute live stream, we were discussing different ways that we could combat and, you know, optimize our other strengths to bring the most views to our video within the first hour or two of it going live. So here's the condensed version of that. Number one is to immediately utilize all your other platforms on social media. You have a good running Facebook group, post it there. How about Twitter? Post it there. When we got to Instagram, Kind of got a little iffy on this platform. I love using it, it's fantastic, but I wouldn't recommend using it the traditional way of just posting a picture. Oh, hey guys, I have a video going up. Instagram is not posting the most recent video at the top. It's kind of scrambling them up in the mix. But what it does put at the top are the most recent stories. So I would still recommend putting a picture up for the day just so some people can see it. You can get some traction that way, but I also recommend putting it in your stories. I personally will put a story on the second it goes live and then maybe an hour later just to kind of push my stories back up to the top. That way I can have as much traction as I can and of course have your link in bio. If you don't know what that means, message me down below. I'll explain it to you. You get one link in your Instagram bio. Make sure it's going to your most recent YouTube video. Tip number two that we talked about was uploading on the same days each week. That way your viewers know, hey, Kristen normally uploads on Tuesday and I don't see a video in here in the subscription box, they might be more likely to click over to my channel and see, oh, hey, she did upload, I just didn't see it, and maybe I'll click the bell so next time I can see it. Quick side note, I did have some viewers click the bell during the live stream and report back to me if they did get my video within the one to two hours after it was posted. Everyone who clicked the bell said they got it, and three people who did not click the bell said they did not see my upload last Friday at all, which is a little bit discouraging, but that's why we're here talking about these different ways we can combat the algorithm changes. And again, these could change tomorrow, but we are just dealing with what we have been handed now. So number two was again, upload the same days each week. And number three is in your videos, let your viewers know when the next upcoming video will be coming out. So if I'm filming this, for example, on a Friday, and I know my next upload is going to be the following Tuesday, I could say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out my next one coming out on this date. And then they will hopefully, you know, remember that it was there. And of course, they'll see it on your social media and always have a call to action to ask them to follow you on social media if they like your content. That way they can also be informed in other ways other than the YouTube subscription box. So the Cliff Notes version of everything we just talked about is to number one, utilize social media. Number two, upload the same days each week. And three, tell your viewers in your videos when the next one will be coming in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. My last little tidbit I did get from friends that went to VidCon is, they did a study on the best performing videos on YouTube and how long they were. And it concluded that videos that were between seven and 16 minutes got the best retention, the best comments and engagement, and the best viewer to subscription rate. That does not mean your video has to be shorter than seven minutes or longer than 16. It's just stating that the videos that fell between seven and 16 minutes perform the best according to Google and YouTube's algorithm. Again, if you guys have any other questions about this, you can feel free to watch that log. But if you have any other questions about any of these topics, please include them down in the comment section. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give them a thumbs up. And if you're new here, be sure to click the little red subscription button. And while you're at it, click the bell afterwards and let me know if you see my videos 
in your subscription box within the first hour to two that they are posted. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks again for requesting it, and I'll see you in the next one.